Reflexology has been around for a long time, since the time of the Egyptians, but not everybody understands the power of this therapy. Joining me today are Barbara and Kevin Kuntz to explain to us how this amazing therapy is being used to help restore movement to those who have been paralyzed by stroke. They are the country's leading authorities on the benefits of reflexology. So nice to have you guys here. And sometimes on this show, I actually luck out, as today, we are going to work on my feet you got and it. my hands, correct? Great. Let's go. It's not often that I get to be worked on, so I'm looking forward to this. Kevin, explain to me exactly what reflexology is. Well, reflexology is basically a therapy that works on the um, different parts of the feet to affect different parts of the body. So like the toes represent the head, the neck, the sinuses, the ball of the foot represents the chest, the lungs, the upper back, and then the uh, arch of the foot, I kind of call that the guts of the matter. They're the internal organs, that type of thing. And then as you come down into the foot, when you're at the, uh, through the heel and so forth, that's the lower parts of the digestive system. It's also the low back and that, that area. You, um you said to me at one point that you can not diagnose problems that are about to happen or that are happening in the body, but that you can give a general idea that something is happening or about to happen. Can you explain how that works? Well, we call them stress cues. So a lot of times with a, a pair of feet, you'll see callousing. Callousing is an easy one because you can basically see where stress is occurring. So if it's on the side of the big toe, that might be pain through the base of the skull. If you've got a lot of callousing on the um, heel, that's going to be more like uh, low back pain, that type of thing. How is it that you, by touching my feet or Barbara touching my hand, can make a stroke victim have feeling again? A lot of it has to do with there's some very heavy um, innervated areas in the feet. So where Like right through here, for instance. Okay, and why is, is that? Well, this is where we lift our foot off when we're taking a footstep. Okay. And so it has a lot, of, a lot of nerves in through here. And so what we'd be doing is we'd be working on one foot and with a, like a, a paraplegic, and the foot on the opposite side would move. And so I've been doing this for 38 years now. I kind of have a, um, you know, it's like a road map. You know, and these are areas that impact the body more than others. But you've been studying and researching the connection between reflexology, the nerves, and helping stroke victims. This has been a particular discipline that you have... It actually kind of happened... Almost created, I wanted yeah, to say. Well, we, we really didn't plan to, to go in that direction, but we were working with a quadriplegic, and when we'd work on his, uh, this area here, the hand on the opposite side would start to move. And so um, we got from that that basically this works within the nervous system. And so we started to look at the connections. So this is basically a an acupressure on your feet? Yeah, I look at it as more as acupressure than, say, foot massage. Right. Yes, of course, because it's a little more specific. You're looking for I'm pressure really, points. Yeah, really going for specific areas. And in fact, before when we, we were talking, you touched my foot and you said you have an adrenal problem because y y you have an arch in your foot that tells you something and I said yeah you know today particularly I'm I'm a little tired and you said oh let me help you and you boom you picked me right up well you know that's the thing about the foot it has a pattern and I call this a stress pattern on the bottom of the feet and so if you can break up that pattern oftentimes the person will feel better right away Barbara's working my hand is it a similar hand to foot is there's it's a similar pattern in the hands yeah in fact if you at times if you injure your foot you don't want to work on the injured part you can go to the hand and work on that incredible what other what other ailments do you get particular results with uh, backs a lot of times low back pain any kind of musculoskeletal type of thing I get people who who have tired feet they just simply I'm walking around on hard surfaces with the wrong shoe and so forth, their feet will bother them, uh, all the way to people that want to follow a particular health concern, like digestion, things like that. You've got a wonderful book out. I thought it was very comprehensive. You were talking about how people have in, in their own hands, they have the ability to help reduce stress and, and create better health. 
Can you elaborate just a little bit more on that in our last few seconds? Well, the, the feet help set the tension level for the body. When we stand up, the feet have to be ready to, you know, signal the rest of the body we're standing. Otherwise, we fall down. So there's a, you know, the feet are not far from the brain because it's a very fast signal that goes up there. And so it's very easy to relax people. And we know that relaxation or stress has a lot to do with a lot of different disorders. So when I feel something on my foot, I know that there's an issue there. It you don't even have to tell me. If I feel something and, and it hurts a little bit more than somewhere else, I could say right there and you could tell me what it is. How long does a session last? Uh, usually I do about an hour. But I've done as you know at times kind of emergency thing with just a few minutes yeah well I've, i know you've put people to to sleep in seconds yeah. so before you put me to sleep <laughs> let me say thank you so much for coming on the show thank you barbara for being here and explaining to us more about reflexology because i think it is a very powerful therapy and very underrated and i'm so happy you came on to explain well, more about it thank you enjoy thank it. you